Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Garrett Campbell. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing a medication known as propefinone. Its brand name is Rhythmol. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. In this video, we'll discuss the mechanism of action or how this medication works, indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe propefinone. We'll then discuss examples of dosing and then finish it off with side effects with percentages. I've put together some slides to go over this information, so let's just jump right into it. So the first thing to discuss here will be the mechanism of action or how this medication works. So propefinone is a class 1C antiarrhythmic drug with local anesthetic effects. It has a direct stabilizing action on myocardial membranes and it causes a reduction in upstroke velocity of the monophasic action potential. In terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we may see it used in atrial fibrillation or flutter in patients without structural heart disease. It can be used in paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, as well as ventricular arrhythmia. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe propefinone, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to propefinone or any other component of the formulation. If a patient had bradycardia or a slow heart rate, or cardiogenic shock, they would also not use this medication. This medication will be contraindicated in patients with heart failure or patients who have marked electrolyte imbalance or marked hypotension or low blood pressure. Disorders of impulse generation or conduction would be a contraindication in this case, as well as patients who have AV or atrioventricular block. Now for some examples of dosing with propefinone. So in the treatment of ventricular arrhythmia, using the immediate release formulation, the initial dose would be 150 milligrams orally every eight hours. They could then increase the dose in three to four day intervals to 225 milligrams every eight hours. In proximal supraventricular tachycardia, again with the immediate release formulation, the initial dose would be the same, 150 milligrams orally every eight hours. Increase the dose to 225 milligrams every 8 hours in 3 to 4 day intervals, and in this situation, the maximum dose would be 300 milligrams every 8 hours. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using propefinone. We'll go over some of those here now. Chest pain and edema may happen 5% of the time, as well as palpitations. 4% of patients may experience constipation, and 5% may experience nausea. 2% of patients may experience vomiting, 5% may experience an altered taste, and dizziness seems to happen 4% of the time, anxiety, dyspnea or difficulty breathing, fatigue, and influenza all seem to happen around 5% of the time. All right, everybody, that's all we're going to talk about today with propefinone or Rhythmol. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to go by and watch one of my videos. If you found the information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, remember you can like the videos, share the videos, or most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. For today, take care.